are the Hispanics? When we use the word Hispanic, we refer to persons who come from any of 22 Spanish-speaking countries, including Mexico, Puerto Rico, Cuba, Central and South America, and Spain. In 2010, the Pew Research Center reported about 50,700,000 Hispanics living in the United States. Although there is a variety of customs and traditions within the Hispanic community, some common threads unite us. Let us go on a multimedia journey to discover the sources of this rich culture. Hispanics today have three main ancestral roots, the Indian, the European, and the African. Let's find out a little about each one. During the early 1500s, as the Spanish explorers began arriving in the so-called New World, they were amazed to find cities which rivaled those of Europe. In Mexico, for example, Hernán Cortés found a city with floating gardens, palaces, magnificent buildings, sewage systems, and markets where trade with peoples from all over the Americas was carried on. He found a civilization accomplished in architecture. Astronomy was likewise highly developed. The calendar stone, a marvel of Aztec astronomy weighing 57 tons, took 52 years to complete. It accurately divided the year into 18 months of 20 days each, with five sacrificial days. In South America as well, Francisco Pizarro was amazed to find the Inca civilization stretching 3,000 miles from Colombia to southern Chile. The ceremonious Incas, who had already discovered the concept of zero and place value, were great diplomats, and their social system ensured that all its members were provided for. They too excelled in architecture and engineering. They built a road system that enabled runners to travel 300 miles in two days. This heritage of Spanish and Indian architectural and artistic styles has evolved into a unique form. Murals with social themes are exemplified here in the Museum of Natural History in Mexico. We in Detroit are fortunate to have murals painted by the great Diego Rivera in our own Institute of Arts and at the main library. Puerto Rico and Cuba, beautiful, fertile islands, were inhabited by the Taino Indians. The encounter between the Tainos and the Spaniards proved fatal to the native peoples, who succumbed to diseases introduced by the Spanish and the harsh treatment at the hands of their invaders. After the gold sources on the islands were depleted, African slaves were brought over to establish an agricultural economy. Thus, a third element was added to the Spanish and Indian heritage of Hispanics. The African influence on the islands is reflected in the language, music, folklore, and customs of Puerto Rico and Cuba. The mixture of races here has discouraged color prejudice and has resulted in a racially tolerant society. The proud, adventurous, and ruthless Spaniards changed forever the life of the native populations with which they came in contact. They came, they saw, they conquered. They claimed the lands and all the riches for Spain while the Indians were enslaved. A new political, legal, and educational system was put in place. The native religions were prohibited 
and Christianity was fervently taught to the inhabitants of the New World. Thus, we see that the present-day Hispanic culture evolves from a violent clash between the Spanish-European with the Indian and the African. From this brief glimpse into the past, let us proceed to the Hispanics today. Various elements make up the colorful mosaic of Hispanic values and traditions. Needless to say, the Spanish language itself is one of the ties that bind us. This language, which the conquistadores used to control the peoples of their vast new territories, is now spoken by one-fifth of the world's population. Spanish, the language of Don Quixote, can be heard all over the United States. In the names of cities, Los Angeles, San Antonio, San Diego, and states, Colorado, Florida, Nevada. In the foods we eat, barbacoa, banana, chile, chocolate, and in things we use, pancho, guitarra, lazo, patio. It is heard in the poetry of Gabriela Mistral and in the literature of Nobel Prize winner Pablo Neruda. Another important value in the Hispanic culture is religion. While the Spanish attempted to enforce Christianity with the sword, the tolerant religious beliefs of the Indians allowed them to accept this new faith and incorporate it into their own beliefs. To this day, the majority of Hispanics carry on the Catholic tradition, but with its own unique flavor. There is a strong devotion to Mary in most of Latin America, and the religious practices of the islands are sometimes mixed with spiritualism arising from their African base. Much has been said about the importance of the family in Hispanic culture. Strong family ties with respect across generations is a value that is engendered in the young. The old are respected and considered an important part of the family. Brothers and sisters are taught to look after one another. Family pride is important. The extended family of aunts, uncles, cousins, not to mention godparents, compadres, all provide support to the members of the family. Maintaining these strong t family ties is a value which Hispanics are struggling to preserve in a society difficult to maintain. Thus far, we have touched upon but a few of the colorful stones that make up the Hispanic mosaic. There are many other aspects which we do not have time to mention. Sports, music, dance, contributions in science, education, and politics. Hispanics in America are inspired by their rich heritage and the accomplishments of their ancestors, and we challenge ourselves to match that glory. With the proper education and resources, yesterday's greatness can be today's. <laughs> 